The Valley News Live First Alert Storm Team has issued a weather alert day. Good morning. Yes, it's going to be another bumpy day for us in the valley. We've already seen some rain and thunder for some of us to start off the day. Other places enjoying a site like this, that sunrise looking quite pretty in Fargo on our first alert Skycam network. So we're starting off quietly, but that will be changing throughout the day. So let's let's first focus on what we've got going on this morning. The rain and thunder I mentioned. Northeastern North Dakota, Devil's Lake Basin has been the focus there. The rest of us looking pretty quiet. Some clouds starting to move in. You can see that there are some other areas where we may be seeing some sprinkles under the clouds, but the main focus is again in that northeastern portion of North Dakota with the heaviest rainfall. You can see some scattered showers, some scattered uh, bouts of rain, uh, but the main area is around Rock Lake and then stretching east from there into the Cavalier County area where it's been weakening. We've got one little lightning bolt and it's starting to fade, indicating it's an older lightning strike. Uh, and so things are starting to quiet for you. Still can't rule out a thunderstorm this morning in this area. So be careful, be ready for that and uh, be ready to have your rain gear with you as you step out the door. Here's a look at our temperatures. It's warm. We're seeing some numbers in the 60s in most areas. It's 68 in Fargo and in Grand Forks. A little muggy out there too. That'll all help to feed into some thunderstorms with winds out of the southeast today gusting into the 20s, maybe even some 30s. Here's a look at our dew point temperature. The closer the dew point is to the actual temperature, the more muggy it feels. And in the summertime, when we see these numbers get into the 60s, we start to really notice that. So you're going to notice that as you step out the door this morning. Here's a look at that hour by hour planner. So today we've got this first round of non-severe weather impacting us, but still it's impactful for that morning drive for those of us seeing the rain. Uh, once that clears, and that might have a big impact on timing and storm development and intensity too, if the showers do stick around a while. So that'll be something to monitor. But notice how we kind of get into this area by lunchtime across most of the valley where we're getting more sun. We're heating things up with that southeasterly wind picking up. Temperatures getting into the 80s in places. This all helps to fuel those strong storms as that boundary moves through. Devil's Lake may be seeing a strong to severe storm around lunchtime and then continuing on into the afternoon. This line moves eastward perhaps around that three o'clock hour. Again, this is a simulation, so timing may be a little different from what we're seeing and placement as well. This could end up being a little farther south too. So I'll keep in mind that all of us in the valley have the potential for storms and especially along the Red River and east, that potential for severe weather. Continuing on into the later afternoon and evening, those storms march eastward. And again, we're looking at about five o'clock this afternoon. Lakes Country uh, potentially seeing those storms. It could happen sooner for you. And where we get that rain, that'll cool you down pretty quickly. The good thing is, is the severe threat does end uh, during the daylight hours. Eventually, we watch that kind of wane and, and we see things quiet down for overnight, though we do have the chance for some rain and maybe even some thunder overnight tonight. So again, uh, the severe weather threat looks to be afternoon and into the evening. Tornadoes possible, again, uh, for us in this threat. And also large hail up to two inches in diameter and high winds to 75 miles per hour. Once this clears out, Tuesday looks beautiful. So does Wednesday. And then more stormy weather approaches for the end of the